welcome back to my channel beautiful people you can see how beautiful my bag is i'm sure you love it if this is your first time you are welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming by okay let's go right into it so what i did i used a 13 inches cake board to make this circle okay so now i'm trying to get the middle i didn't really, i didn't use the middle for anything okay just wanted to find out the middle of um, the circle so i made the i started making the the sketch on it it's very simple if you know you can't you know you can make a straight line with your pencil you can use your ruler okay so that was what i did i made my ruler i used my pencil to make the lines also if you want it a bit um, easier you can have two sketches okay you can make a sketch and trace the other so this is me just using something to have that um, circle okay just something to make your work easy easier yeah so that's what i did now i'm making the tree it's very simple sincerely simple so remember that i make my sketches on a tracing paper okay so this is the tracing paper it's transparent so i made a sketch it doesn't have to be complicated okay make it simple <laughs> So this is a gum stay here, it's the hard gum stay. Okay, so this is what I'll be using for the background. The background to hold the pieces together. So one-sided fusible. You know, this is not the very light one I use to iron fabrics. This is a bit thicker. Okay, so what I did first is to cut out the tree. Just make sure you take your time when you're cutting. Here. it out Got the second one so now i'm here tracing out the body you can see what i did make sure that okay the front of the sketch is facing down so what you're seeing is the back of the sketch okay so you don't make mistakes when you're doing your arrangements always turn it over okay the back of the fabric the back of the sketch
Here I continued it was the same process like I did the first one I did the same thing for the second okay so I just I do the, the, the colors I used is black yellow orange and white black yellow orange and white and they came out so so beautiful make sure you try yours and i would like to see the result i'd like to hear from you in the comment section okay let me see what you're able to try out if it was easy if it took a longer time than you expected let me know in the comment section So this is me making the placement <clears throat> okay just the placement of how it's going to look just before I made the stitches okay there's one after the other so after I'm making okay since I used a gum stay for the background and then you know the fabric is facing the the back the parts that has a gum so after placing it I just ironed before I made my zigzag stitches okay since I'm using it for a bag so it's one you know I, I didn't place everything at once then start stitching I did it one after the other so it will be easier for me okay and so it's gonna come out well okay I'm, I'm sure you already love the way it's coming you can see how beautiful just so simple and beautiful you know if you're looking at it from far like you might not know these are pieces of fabrics i'm sure you love this video have you have you liked it yet please don't forget to like share and subscribe don't just watch subscribe comment like okay thank you so this is the front and the back and i cut out the lining for the front and the back after cutting out the lining i cut out the body so this is about five inches okay then i used to i chuck the middle <clears throat> there's the middle here then i stitch around it okay not the the middle like um about um 17 inches and I stitch around it so this is me using like a one inch ribbon to cover up the sewn part the rough edges okay you can see so it's gonna come out so neat you can see how beautiful it looks so I cover the edges round I did the same thing for for the back okay you can see I did the same thing so this is the body so after doing this i opened it up after opening it up i used the one inch ribbon again to cover up the stitches to cover up the stitches okay so after doing that i tacked it with um with thread another color of thread so you see because the tacking is just for it to lay down and so that it will be easier for me to fix the zip okay so i used another color so you could see because um, after sewing i i just pulled it pulled it out okay so i tacked it down so it to be easier i won't have to be battling with the zip and um, the ribbon after when, while sewing okay that's why i did that so i took it to the machine and stitched the zip you can see how beautiful it's looking 
yeah you can see how beautiful it's looking so right now we're gonna be joining together okay so the middle of the body and the front you can see the truck and this is the accessory for the handle the long arm so i measured them two inches on each side from the middle that's four inches in between the shorter handle okay so this is the middle of the body and the front and um, i said it's teaching you can see how the inside is looking beautiful neat and clean you can see the short hand looking beautiful here this is the inside so clean beautiful so this is the back so I did the same thing I marked the middle hold it together then go on the machine <coughs> just take your time and um, you see I'm done stitching to the inside so neat and beautiful so so beautiful I like the results if you love this video don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching bye